okay another question that you will be uh, saying is uh, what are the different types of uh, libraries in jcl that you will be coming across the answer you can say is system libraries uh, right so when you are using an ifbr 14 uh, or ib copy utilities so that means those are system libraries so all the programs which was already predefined those specific load libs are there in sysvan.linklib if you want you can try and check this uh, in your systems and you will find just search for IABR 14 you will see that utility there okay so that's the sysvan.linklib uh, and another one is a private library that we define so either it can be called as a job lib or a step lib right and within the same thing so with the interview can also ask like what is job lib and what is step lib and uh, where uh, do you exactly how do you exactly use this right so step lib coming to the step lib so this uh, libraries are used for a specific step so if you have a cobol program and if you are trying to run it earlier uh, first of all this is compiled and loaded into a uh, libraries those are private libraries and stored in some specific pds which is a unformatted i mean undefined length format right so that uh, if you are using this step at the specific program within a spec so it will directly pick that libraries no you have a uh, several steps like 5 to 10 uh, steps and uh, you have like a COBOL programs and everything and uh, if the load library of that specific thing is uh, within the same uh, uh, PDS so then you can use a job lib at the uh, the higher level and then that can be uh, used it to submit that okay so that's the main difference if you want to use at a global level for all the steps uh, to use the same uh, load library then you can specify at the uh, job lib if you want to override uh, not to if you want to use a specific step with a specific load library you can the use the step lib at the step level and so that it will pick uh, the uh, load lib from that specific step lib itself okay if you look at this example right so first thing what I'll do is um, I'm trying to run this program but uh, first initially I have mentioned the job lib here and then uh, there is no step lib okay for example let's say so you have uh, step 0 1 step 0 2 and step 0 3 okay let me consider the same thing here what I'm doing is I'm not using any step lib here okay and uh, here also here I'm trying to use a step lib okay so let me separate this Okay, and let's take this as well. Okay, yeah. So now, how many steps we have? Step zero one, step zero two, and step zero three. In the top, I have given a job lib, so where uh, all the load libraries related to the specific programs are there. The first step one. So initially, whenever we have this specific COBOL program, so it should have the load module identified. If there is no load load module, so it will not run, right? So what hap What is happening in these specific steps? It looks into this and if it finds so it will run it if not it will throw an error okay in this case similarly we have written this and in this case what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to override this so maybe here it is load lib so here it can be in a load lib 1 so in that case uh, it will not look this specific program in this specific load library whereas it figure it will uh, check for this so and it will uh, execute the specific program so that's the main difference when you want to override the global uh, li load library and if you want to override that so you can just override using a step clip so that's the main thing so if I execute this so it should run no, now you can see so it has been successfully executed and when you go uh, uh, to the spool and when you try to validate this uh, you can see Right, so this is the JCL that has been submitted and this out it has been printed, entered and printed. And let's see the messages what it shows. Okay, let me search for step lib. So now you can see the allocated to step lib and let me search for the job lib as well. So now you can see UAB is allocated. So this particular step uh, first last step it has you can see the job lib and also the step lib. First it searched for this and it did, again it went to the step lib why so initially it checked for the job lib whether this particular uh, program is there or not okay and at the step level again it came and it shows 
oh my god so I have to I should ignore the job lib load library since this is exist this is forcing me to check into the step lib if not I'm gone so that's how it happened so now it will even though it has checked here so but again it will move to the step lib and it will take that particular load library and execute that okay so that's how uh, we can run it and uh, for example let me do one thing like load one load lib one so let me enter so it, it throws an error right so if it since this is load library is not found so maybe you may have another load lib one two three and in the real time so there it will check if it is not there then what it will do it will take this and it will execute so for example here it was there it fine that's okay in step lib it, it went to show load lib one so which is actually pds is existing in the in our case scenario the pds is not there that's the reason it thrown an error but ideally it will not throw an error load lib one uh, so then if that particular cobol program is not found then it will take this and execute so that's the main uh, thing about the job lib and the step lib so this is very much asked in the interview so the interview can uh, ask you in a different way the different types of libraries you see in a JCL so you can say like system defined libraries and private libraries so system liberal libraries sys one dot link lib and private job lib and step lib the same question can be asked in a different way what is the difference between job lib and step lib so how do you execute your uh, uh, program so what is the specific step that is uh, needed as that specific DD name that we use step lib and uh, a job lib and again differences between job lib and step lib this is very very much asked in a question I don't think the interviewer will not leave you without asking these questions so especially in the JCL if they are looking for a batch programmer uh, especially who has an experience in the JCL and if their requirement is completely on the JCL so this question is very much asked I forgot to show you that uh, sysfun.linklib maybe we might have to use in this IFBR 14 right let's see if this is there uh, here or not awesome right so this is there so this is there uh, so this from this is where this gets executed by default we don't specify any step leap uh, for uh, IFBR 14 so normally this uh, picks the uh, default uh, PDS that is being mapped uh, by default so that it picks there so so that's how it will work okay so you can see you can also see IB Jenner and IB GNER so IB patch and these are the all the system uh, IBM provided uh, utilities I can say IB copy yes there are many things so you if you go and check this library like you can see all the uh, IBM provided uh, library that's it guys so this is what uh, uh, I thought of sharing so it's an uh, interviewer is asking in this uh, what is types of libraries in a JCL or just your difference between a job limit and step limit.